What's going on, guys? It's your boy, John for the Gamer Day here, back with you again with another episode of the Pokemon White 2 Random Access Log. As this last episode, we actually we did a, we did a little bit of things. Sorry, I'm grabbing my socks, so it's gonna start getting cold because I have the window open, and you know, you are gonna be able to hear the frogs, the frogs. But I'm talking now, so they shut up. So that's unfortunate. You know, <laughs> I feel bad because like, you know. You just as you just talk and the frogs just freak out. It's weird. I don't know. I don't understand nature wise why they do that. I mean, I'm guessing because it's like you know you're a predator, I guess. But like I'm inside my own house, so like I'm not gonna actually do anything to the frogs, like ever. They're amazing, and I love having the frogs at the house. Anyway, that's a random side note to what's going on today. Um, it's just funny because you could literally hear the frogs like loud and clear a second ago, but as soon as I started talking, they shut up. Um, anyway, team recap for you guys is nothing died. For the third episode of the row! Yes! Okay, so anyway, I'm super excited. We got Kevin, level 89, holding the choice specs with Night Slash, Water Spout, Surf, and Petal Dance. Almost 200, look at that, 220 HP. It's just like, it's an ungodly amount of HP to even think about. Then we got Blue, the Super Saiyan Blue Lucario, with Sacred Sword, Meteor Mash, Wake Up Slap, and Mirror Shot. We got Dream, the Pressure Moltres, with Blue Flare, Acid, Fly, V, Create. We got Kepson, the Liquid Ooze, Toxic Plate Holding, Swalot with Venoshock, Whirly Kick, Fire Punch, and Coil. We got Biggers, the Gardevoir, with Silver Wind, Work Up, Heal Order, and Extra Sensory. And we got Joy, the Walrein, with the Skull Bash, Blizzard, Haze, and Water Pulse. Like I said, our team is definitely working its way. It's figuring out the kinks that it needs to. Kevin kind of needs to sit in the back before he gets past level 60 because, oh my god, like, honestly, Kevin has just been outrageously overleveled. <laughs> and it's like, I'm not even trying to. It's that I love Kevin so much that, like, he's just generally going to be overleveled no matter what I try and do. Ooh, a Zavinosaur. I'm glad I switched. Um, dude, it's, like I said, it's still kind of surreal to see everybody in the 50s. Again, I know that's weird, and I'm going to comment that, comment on that on literally every episode, because, like, of course I am. I got to find something to talk about and repeat myself with, but that's one of them. So, like, is it me or is the game running slower? Oh, I mean, I guess it might be because I'm rendering Cage Lock episode 5 going out on Aaron's channel to Saturday, tomorrow in, uh, you know terms of not actually tomorrow you know what i mean you guys don't know what i mean at all but that's okay anyway we got aaron you know posting uploads of cage log i got cage log uploads are getting ready to go as well so cage log is back on track boys who's ready definitely me i'm ready to get that back on track persian is gonna be an easy mon that is uh nile spoilers but not really because i should have now by the time this video drops let's go so yeah so we got persian and like i said i don't necessarily we can handle persian just fine relic song i hate when shit gets stuck in your teeth it's annoying especially with that that was weird like i've never had that like was like almost like a cheese, but I know it wasn't cheese. I don't know. Anyway, Blue handled his business, and we got a person berry for doing so. So that's a positive. I, like we like getting stuff. You know, person berry is not always a bad thing to have to worry about. Wait, is that literally the end of Seaward Cave? I think that actually is legitimately the end of the cave. This wasn't even a long cave at all. What was I freaking out about? I was like, oh no, we have to go get into the cave and it's going to be like the worst thing ever. It's like, no, no, John, it really isn't. You're just overhyping the cave as normal. Kips is going to, wow, level 54. Bro. That's just straight up, Kevin has to deal with that. That's the problem. It's like, Kevin just has to deal with everything because he has to take the he just has to take the brunt force of everything. That's a flamethrower. Whoof! That's a hot take. Ooh. <laughs> I said that joke and I was like, wow, even that's that's a bad dad joke for even my standards. 
Um, as, you know, Blaziken's gonna go down. I feel like if Papa said that, it'd be okay. But, like, wow. Oh, like, that's bad. Um, we got $1,700 for winning. We get a, we keep getting a, like, load of money. Also, we haven't... Oh, yeah, we got our encounter. We got our encounter. That's a fact. I know we did. I would never have let me walk out without getting the encounter. I'll be mad if I didn't get the encounter, and I would I was like, let's save it for the next episode. But I highly doubt I did that. So, in that highly doubting, I'm going to just not catch the dragon type. Which my fan base will be genuinely happy about. Because they hate when I get dragon types. So, it works out to the best of our interests and abilities. Um, yeah, but I think... We're going to find a gym leader today, I think. I'm finding an 8th gym leader. Definitely scary. Um... Especially with the knowledge that we legit can't deal with water types. I think that's another thing that makes this harder. Is I know that I can't deal with water types except for with Petal Dance on Ke uh, Kevin. As that's a fire blast. Why is everybody trying to hit me with fire? That's weird. Like, everything has been hitting with fire light. It's like trying to kill it with fire, and it doesn't make sense because fire is actually resisted. But I guess not against poison type, but yeah, you know what I mean. Capsa, let's go. Ambor. Well, I can't stay in. So I'm just going to go in with joy and water pulse the thing, and hopefully that does good. That Hopefully that does enough. Hopefully we don't lose joy to, like, some sort of, like, cross top or some BS like that which I know is possible when going into July but we'll see water pulse should do like a good 50% or more um so like yeah okay that's exactly what I expected oh we got the confusion off too we'll take that too hit yourself in confusion so I don't have to worry bulk up even better you know what that's okay if you want to bulk up on me that's fine because you just, if you hit yourself in confusion, which you won't because I can hit water pulses 100% accurate. But if it wasn't, if it gave you a chance to hit yourself even harder. So I'm down with that. Because if you guys didn't know, confusion is physically based. So it is based on the physical attack. So, yeah. Yay, person bear. Something we definitely don't care about. Oh. The power belt. The power belt is over 9,000, y'all. So, yeah. So, there's no reason to go down here. So, pale patoot. I want a shiny so bad. I feel like we've deserved a shiny. We're not going to get it, obviously. But, like, I feel like we've deserved one. So, like, I know it's, it's going to pop up any one of these LPs coming up. It's going to happen. And so, like, I'm just waiting for it at this point. Oh, my gosh. A shiny Frank would have been freaking funny. That would have been hilarious. We would have named it Frank, added asteroid videos on Twitter. I think it would have been A-OK. -okay. Um, anyway, we're going to get out of this cave, honestly. we. Oh! Oh! It's a root. You can definitely tell the game is not running at 100%. Because I can, I can tell by the music it's not. Like, I can legit tell by the music that it's not running at 100%. That's what happens when you record and, you know, render a video. But anyway, that's a Vespiquen! We gotta get Queen the Vespiquen, level 51, holding the Citrus Berry. Okay, anyway, we're gonna Fire Punch the crap out of this thing. It should get it at least at half. Bare minimum. Wow! That took that really well. I mean, I'm not mad, obviously. That's nice that it took a weather well but like oh boy like i don't like the fact that it took it as well as it did you know like wow i just decided to pop a swap out of nowhere that was um very unexpected dude when kevin just is just way better than joy it's like oh my god i feel so bad but, like, it's true. <laughs> Kevin is just, like, out overpowers Joy. Now, one thing I should do is I should learn Surf on Joy. 
because Joy would take that very handily. Um, so I guess that's the next thing I'm going to be doing is learning Surf. But still, like, even then, it's like Joy still gets overpowered in a lot of aspects. It's, it's, it's kind of sad, really. Because that's why Walrein gets demoted so far. Is because, I can go into Joy for this, because Joy's actually fine at handling this. But, like, that's why Walrein is in PU and Milotic's in RU. Because Milotic has a job. It has a job of staying bulky and sitting there and doing fine. Whereas, Walrein, Walrein's job is kind of really undefined. It's supposed to be this weird, well-rounded Pokemon, but it doesn't succeed in that competitively. Um... Obviously, I would love it to be a better Pokemon, because the concept of a Walrus Pokemon, great. Um, and the reason, like I said, and my reasoning for hating it is kind of stupid, let's be fair. The reason, like, the reason why I hate this Pokemon is it destroys me in Nuzlocke. Wow, good job, John. That's a really fun reason to hate a Pokemon. But, like, again... It is one of those scenarios that you kind of have to think about because it just, there's a job that it's supposed to do, but it can't. And it's like, it hurts. It hurts that it can't do that. As that is a, another, oh shoot. Oh God. Okay, Kevin, you're going to have to take a hit. Take a hit, take a hit, to take a hit, take a hit. Just had to say that. Okay. Anyway, I'm a little. This thing's got Swift Swim. Oh no! It, oh no! It doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. For a second, I thought this thing could have had Swift Swim, and I was like, oh god. Pedal Dance should kill it. Oh, it's got Sturdy. Oh no! I forgot about Sturdy. Oh, this one doesn't have it. Really? Oh, <laughs> okay. See, I wasn't dumb when I lost Chillin. I feel way better. Okay, I thought that the other one had Sturdy, and I was going to be mad because I lost it because it, I didn't think about Sturdy. Well, yeah, I didn't think about Sturdy being a thing, but I didn't have it revealed earlier. See, okay. That just makes me, that made my confidence just shoot up drastically. Because I didn't lose the Pokemon stupidly. I lost it in a way that a normal Nuzlocker would. Um, to be fair. Um, we got a Del Caddy. I love fighting easy mons. They're the best for experience. Blue, get out here. As long as you don't have like Heat Crash or something. Well, I say Heat Crash and I choose like the worst move to think about in this context because Heat Crash would have done nothing. Lucky chant. Oh god, critical hits. Okay. But we're faster. A Sacred Sword should kill this thing. Dead. D -d 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 dead. We like that. We like dead mons. Level 50. We just like it when it's not our own. Uh, that's a reversal. We're not going to learn that. Honestly, I don't like having to rely on being in a dire situation for a move to be effective. So we're not going to learn that, which is, I guess, that's totally, like I said, totally fine with me. The way that that is happening as, you know, as we continue our journey. Wow, she actually spots you, and then I can go up one. Good. I'm surprised that she actually sees you. I'm a, wow. That's a Lunatone. Okay, we can deal with that, right? We have uh, the wrong Mon in front, but we can definitely take care of that with uh, Kevin, I guess. Again, Kevin being the only one that can handle literally any situation. It's weird relying on Kevin. Kevin's about to be level 60, guys. Kevin is about to be the first Mon on our team to be level 60. How do you guys feel about that? I feel a little bit like, holy cow about that, but like, we take those. There we go, Kevin! Level 60. Dude, Kevin, this is, cr that's crazy. Level 60, naturally. 
Oh my god, she actually does trap you. Well, here's our encounter, I guess. That is dupes, so we don't have to worry about that. I am down with not having to worry about that. Like I said, not having to worry about sturdy is nice. Just or not sturdy, but not having to worry about that encounter just felt good. Okay. Again, that's fine. I'm not mad because I don't have to worry about that. That's a horsey. Uh, it is level 45, but would I ever use it? No. I've got way too many gra or grass types. I'm just going to run. I know it's crazy that I'm, like, deciding to run from an encounter. Like, people are probably like, why did you do that? And I... Again, like I said, there was... Realistically, no point in keeping it. Like, I saw no reasonable... Re no, no reasonable way to keep it and be happy. So I didn't keep it. I'm gonna go ahead and fight... The um, doctor. The doctor will tell us what to do here. We actually will not be fighting the gym leader in the today's episode. Another episode where we don't fight a gym leader. Kind of whack. Because, um, you know, you always expect to kind of do more in episodes. Plus, you know, I haven't played this game in forever. So, like, I don't realistic. I don't know where all of my landmarks are. You know, If you get what I'm putting down. Like, I don't know where everything is so like i just assume that that's where i'm gonna be and then i realize wow that's actually not where you're gonna be that was a, a crit defense drop good job um so again with that being said i thought it was way further than i was but apparently i was not but again i'm okay with that so, so that's gonna be an easy dub we're gonna go ahead and get our heal on and then exit the exit come back I feel like I could have I literally can can't I I don't have them on with rock smash but I could have avoided that entire ordeal if I avoided it Dude, I'm just I'm waiting for that shiny to appear for no apparent reason. And if it's a horsey, then I'll catch it. That's like the only reason to catch it though. Dang, all the way from 32 to 45, and our encounter was all 45. We should have caught it, honestly. I don't if we had... I should have caught it because I feel like I have the dragon scale. I feel like that is one of the evolutionary items that I do have. And I totally just wasted an opportunity at a king draw. I will be... I will be pseudo upset. Not gonna lie. If I lost an opportunity at a king draw because I was being... Like... Cautious with my Pokeballs and stuff. And waiting for a later point to use it. Oh my god. Really, Cherim? I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna see it right now, too. This is why you catch every Mon you come across. 
That would have been a king draw. Oh, boys and girls. That would have been a straight up Kingdra. Level 46 Kingdra. Actually, we still might be able to take on the gym, because that's the gym right there. This is the city. Okay, maybe we still have a chance to take it on. Let's go ahead and heal in this, and we're going to go take on the gym. I say, why not? Um. Oh, that hurts my soul, though. Like, we could have totally done it. But again, my bad entirely. What is Aaron doing, Karen? Look at the DNI splashes back for sure. So if you should focus on beating the gym leader. Okay. So yeah. So it literally tells you the first thing you need to do is bite the gym leader. Except for wait, does it not let does it not let me Yeah, no, it does not let me go over there until I fight the gym. Okay. So literally the only thing I can do is fight the gym. If you can hear the frogs, let me know. Hopefully you could. If you're looking for the gym leader, he went swimming off into the ocean, yelling about the sea. Please look for him if you'd like. Basically told me I have to look for the gym leader. Naturally. Why can't anything come easily? What is this? Can I actually go down this way? Ooh, I can. The marine tube. What? I don't remember this. This is so cool. Where is this going to take me? Andela Town. No way. Are you telling me that I... There's absolutely no way I had access to this the entire time. There's absolutely no way. We had access to that. If we did, I'm a little upset because I went through a cave that I didn't need to. I'm assuming we didn't have access to this. But I have absolutely no idea where we're going. Oh, wait, what? Oh, we can still go. Bruh, Aaron literally told me I couldn't go here. And then I can, turns out I actually can go here. God damn it. I was like about to end the episode because I was like, okay, I got to figure out how to do this. <laughs> and then I, yeah, didn't actually need to figure it out. Fighting all these trainers. We're going to have a couple trainers in this gym. Please do not wreck me, Marlin. That's all I ask. Don't wreck me and we'll be happy. We'll be good, fine, and dandy.
A bear tick. Okay there, buddy. I said don't wreck me, not have a mon that literally can wreck me. Um Kepson doesn't seem like Wow, Kepson can't take any of that. Like, Kepson just does not deal damage. It's crazy how little damage Kepson, de de like, shoots out. Like, Swallow's a lot less powerful than I thought it was ever. So, it's a little bit of a crazy, crazy sight to think about. It's where I just secret sword the thing. And a Whimsicott is not a fairy type yet. Although I kind of wish it was. Kepson, get out here. If it was a fairy type, oof, Kepson would wreck it. But I wonder if, like, we'll find out now. But I wonder if Kepson's more of a special attacker and I always thought it just was more physical. I'm hoping not. I'm hoping I didn't mess up that badly. Like, there's definitely a potential. Oh my god. Naturally. But there's always a potential that I did that. That gosh digging iron potential. We'll find out though. As level 56 is going to tell us. No, we are more of a physical attacker. That's that's bad. That's bad for level 50, almost level 60 to only have a hundred in that stat is just oof. Why is Kepson just that bad? Uh, that is an answer to the question that we'll never know. I feel like we could have actually avoided her, but we didn't. We didn't choose to, which is fine. We don't have to choose to avoid all the trainers. Um, You're going to have a level 56. I can already tell. Galviantula. We've got no handle for that. We don't have any way to handle it. Oh, that's a Volt Tackle. Okay, that's going to hurt. But, it's, but that might actually do enough damage to me. Okay. That should actually kill them. No? Really? I mean, at least Volt Tackle will only do like 40 damage instead, so it's not going to do a lot. Should bring you down to 150. Yeah, 157, exactly. Wait a minute, get the clutch burns. Level 56. Bro, I just skipped two trainers. Let's go. Oh, I totally did not skip two trainers. Good job. <laughs> I wish. That's a Swalot. Okay. Again, not angry over the Swalot. I think we can handle it. What can we handle it? I mean, oh, it's got Fire Punch. I gotta remember that. That actually changes who I think I can handle that with. I think Dream's gonna be the one that has to come out and do. Oh my god! Gotta do dreamy things, so. Coil's kinda what I expected there. Not gonna lie. 
I did expect the coil, which is why I'm going to go ahead and blue flare. Should do a lot. I would say like 78%, 78 to 83% is my calculation. I don't think it's going to kill, but I think it's going to be 73 to 8. Yeah! <laughs> I said 78 to 83%. I've got my calcs. I have my calcs. I am a Pokemon battler. I know my calcs. I have to know my calcs, let's be honest. That's a Sharpedo. Kevin, get out here, please. Like I said, I've got just the most well-rounded, diverse team. It's nice. It's very nice to have a rounded team that I don't have to... Like, I literally can coast along, talk about whatever I want to, and how everybody's day has been going, how our self-quarantining's been, and everything else. And, like, I don't have to play the stress game. Which... Rough skin should not have hurt me because that's not a contact move. But whatever. Um, Scolipede. But like, again, being able to just talk and be lax. I think that's been the amazing part of this series in general. Everything has been at such a high level. And I think I've been able to prove that it is definitely possible to win a high level Nuzlocke. But I also have been able to prove that, like, I can be lax about it. Like, I haven't had the best of team. Yeah, I mean, I did start with a Celebi and a Jirachi in episode one. But, like, and they're both gone. And But I started with three different psychic types. It was Celebi, Gardevoir, Jirachi. Those are my first three Pokemon. What Pokemon is still alive right now? Gardevoir. Um, now, a lot of it, I think, is because it's literally not been used. But, I mean, that's besides the point. No, that is literally the point. But, like... I don't know, just it feels... Great. Not to have to worry about all that stuff. It just feel It does. Genuinely and honestly. It feels amazing. Oh, that's a ground type. Okay. I'm going Joy here. Because I... Joy has the ice type moves. And the water type moves to handle this thing. Wow. This thing just threw out an earthquake. That did nothing to Joy. Joy was just like, Earthquake? What's that? Yeah, let's go, Joy. Let's go, Joy. Joy got that. Handled. That's a kill. That's an Oko. That's an Oko. Yeah, it is. We know that it's an Oko. Um, per Ugly. Well, that's an easy switch. Get out here, Blue. Being on par with the gym trainers is like a little scary, not gonna lie. Because like I said, I know that he's gonna have a level 58, Luckily, we have a level 60, so if, like, his, if his level 58 is anything that Kevin can counter, obviously, Kevin's going in. But, like, we're kind of getting everybody closer to the level 60s, which is good. Let's see. I think I can do it this way. Oh, yeah. I knew we could do it. Joy getting 130 some odd points right there. Yep. Oh, like exactly 130. I didn't need to use a hyper potion there. Do I have just normal potions? Probably not. Let's be fair. <laughs> I don't see myself. Ha oh, yeah. Freshwater. Let's go. 50 points. That's more worth. So we got a fully healed team. We're going to fight Marlin. And this will be the end of the episode. This is a 35-minute episode. This will, again, 
Our episode lengths have almost gradually gotten longer and longer and longer and longer throughout the series. It's kind of weird. I think a lot of it's just because I'm naturally used to that. Ooh, we're gonna start with the Chandelure. That's a tough one. Oh, wow. We're underleveled entirely for his team. Okay. So Chandelure is a little bit of a tough start. We're going into Kevin. We're going into Kevin. Because Chandelure... Like I said, that gives us issues. For sure. Fusion Flare. Woo! We ate that up. We truly ate that up. That Chandelure is gone. That's good. We want that Chandelure gone. Okay, next. We have... A Skarmory. Oof. We're gonna go into Dream, though. Dream should be able to handle it. Hopefully, it's not the level 58, because if it is, that would suck. But if it is the level 58, I'm not as worried, because we had a handle for it. It is not the level 58. I just don't want the level 58 to be, like, something we don't have a handle on. Like, a, like I feel like we have a handle on most things. Um, like an electric type. Like a very good electric type. Like a... That would be scary. Oh, especially after the Tailwinds got set up? What? No. Now anything could come in and be faster. <sighs> oh, shoot. Um, that's not good. Okay. A Jinx. Let's go. That is easy money. We will take that. As long as this Jinx doesn't throw out Power Gem out of the wind, we're good. As we are going to go ahead and Blue Flare, as we are still faster even after his doubling speed. Let's go! One, one hit KO. That is the way we get our 8th gym badge, y'all. Thank you, guys. Again, you guys are amazing. We're going to get out of this gym and end the episode because we got 69 69 dollars. I know it was 69 60 but close enough. Um... <laughs> We have all eight gym badges. Oh, boy, Alberto. Um, milk drink is a terrible TM. Good job. It'd be great if it was like a one where we didn't have to get healing items. But like, yeah, all of our eight gym badges are completed. kind of crazy to think about our journey is and i think the crazier thing to think about is our journey is not even close to being over we're not even in victory road yet guys so we still have plenty of things that we have usually see usually you go to the pokemon league now but dealing with team plasma comes first sup y'all what it's Team Plasma? What's this Team Plasma you're talking about doing? Team Plasma does things and like steal my sister's, I mean, people's Pokemon. They plan on conquering Unova by using the Pokemon to freeze it solid. They're extremely evil. You haven't heard of them, Marlin? Nope. The, when the ocean's your home, you don't worry about things like that because the ocean accepts all. Do you think Team Plasma is bad? Do you think Team Plasma is bad? Then, of course. I get it, they're bad, so you fight them. But first, you got to say that in your own words. When you do, you'll understand better what you want to do and what you're hoping for. Well then. Man, I don't know if that guy is la laid back or just irresponsible. That kind of got me down, but your opponent is Team Plasma. We have to focus, but before that, we have to find out where they are. We'll split up. You go check Route 22. Got it? And that is exactly what we'll be doing in the next episode of the Pokemon Black 2, Randomized, White 2, Randomized Suslock. See you guys then. Peace.